The jib, it's as low as it can go, okay, without it basically being muted. Alright. Uh, as I was going to say, uh, we're just, I'm just going to do a quick bit of vampire with you here, because we have you here. It's late night, moment. you know, it's going to be us being tired and exhausted. Also, Jib, as I was going to say, yeah. As I keep on repeating, but I keep on getting into it because Bill was like, photo, 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 photo. We don't care, Bill. We don't care. We're moved on. We've moved on. We already answered that. We're stop talking about the Pathfinder game. We were talking about base raiders and TV talks and how we're going to do that as a show. And how we're going to do this and that and this and that. And all these other things. We're talking about all of this. We're talking about all of this, Bill. We're not... He was just... Okay, uh... Sorry, just... Yeah. No, you're fine. The mecha thing is just because I wanted at one point to do a giant guardian generation thing. And mm -hmm. because of that, I wanted to test out the sci-fi character and thing just to see what it would give us. I mean, if you want, we can do that instead of vampire. This way, I'm ready while I'm here. If we ever well, no, it was more just me seeing how it feels because I don't. We're not. We're definitely not going to do the random generation thing. It was just kind of like a, what does this give us? Because I have no idea what type of mecha thing I want to do. What the? Okay, that guy just glitched in like ran across the room like a crazy person but not only that uh, I you know I'm, I'm excited because I think that's gonna be really fun and I want to do Baroni Kenshin before the creators you know good name gets destroyed any further from his more modern bad actions and uh, well not only that uh, what should I how should I say this Okay, do we have, um, well, also before it gets taken off the headphones, because that'll make it easier for setting it up for us to watch. Um, but beyond that, where is this cop? I'm trying to find him so I can just charm him to walk past. Or sneak attack. Can I kill the cop here? Uh, you received instructions on how to activate the church. Um. Okay, the cops just kind of glitching out randomly at times. That's not good. Um, but you know, I want to do some of that, but that's you know all of us as a group type thing. Uh oh, hey, this is. You know, just a bunch of fun things. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I can pick up a chair and easily throw it across the room. Okay, that's normal. Right, oh wait, vampire, yeah. Normal subjective. Normal doesn't exist for us. <laughs> okay, kinda true. <laughs> wake me up, wake me yeah. up in time. Can't wake up, can't wake up in time. I'm just gonna hide in this corner and hope the cop doesn't notice me. Let's be fair, the cop always notices you. No, he didn't actually. I guess I'm just that good of a ninja. <laughs> I can't just hid by sta- wow, really? Wait, oh, it's some sort of item. Did I just pick up a magical trinket? Okay, uh, what, what did I just pick up? You need a research of at least eight to use this item. It's a WWJD bracelet, so you have no idea what it could be. <laughs> wait, 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 but I have a research of nine. Okay, so I should actually know what this is. 
When wearing the shamanistic fetish, you feel your spirit move fast like an eagle. Plus one to wits. Holy crap, that's really good. Holy crap, that's really, really good. Like, really good. Jib, that's super powerful. Uh, not only, uh, you know, there's that. There's a lot of things that I'm excited for us to be doing as a group and friends, because it'll be fun. And getting back to Pathfinder, while well, it's both at the same time D20 and stuff, it's fun to get back to that sort of thing, don't you agree? Sometimes it's good to do D&D &D for a bit. Uh, Jib? Power? Um, I thought I talked. Uh, yeah. I mean, everyone knows it. It's almost everyone's first system. Almost. Well, Can't include myself on, region, on that really. one. For example, in yeah, uh, Poland, the um, standard system is actually Warhammer Fantasy. Huh. I have the book. I never looked into it. Just because it's out of date and I don't know if it's good or not. It depends. Just like everything else in the universe, it depends. Wait, I have nine... I just mind control that guy to start dancing. Okay. Oh, I get it. So I have nine minutes to. Ah, oh, fuck. I have to drain this guy, don't I? I'm going to have to drain him. Fuck, that sucks. Okay, uh. That's not... Okay, so... Oh, I get it. I have a timer until we have to leave this place. Otherwise, I get locked in, I'm betting. And there's a reward in here somewhere that we need to find. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the giant guardian generation thing is mostly because I like the idea of at some point doing a little mecha thing. And I want to try and do base raiders again. Not elite, because elite tried to make it too much like Shadowrun. Bill didn't really do yeah. anything wrong, but Bill's character was... Not fair that. Well, they were interesting and fun, but... Uh, email. Okay, quickly, hack. Wow, I have a lot of time. Waterloo? Really? Okay, well, we can read these next time, um, while on the re-recording. Okay, uh... Personnel... Okay, I need a... Well, I have eight minutes to do all this? I need a lot of time. And then we somehow run out of time. Probably. Let's be fair here. We're gonna run out of time, somehow. Well, actually, we are burning out of our time. Steadily, because it's constantly just going down. But I kind of like that. I want to get all the information, see if we can do it all in one take. Oh, hey. Uh, password is... What is the wait? Dang it! Where is the password? Uh, oh, we need to steal something off the safe. Okay, so we need to get the password for the safe, which I'm betting is one of those emails. Okay. Uh, fuck bank search. Uh, do you hear me? Fuck bank search. Okay, what well, what's the password? Personal Manifesto one. Manifesto two. Manifesto three. Okay, I don't know what the password is. We're just gonna We need to quickly find that password. Okay. Maybe one of the computers has it. Can we check this one? No we can't. Okay, I think that's how we get back out. Okay, over here, this one. Uh, help? There's no... Art direct. Oh, wait. <laughs> really? There we go. Email. Okay. Uh, come on, we're running out of time. Damn it. 
slaughter grudge. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Where is the password? Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Don't want to go there. Don't, don't need that. Uh. Okay, email. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, four, five, six, wow, it's four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, we have still five and a half minutes. Jib. Uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, I want to do Ronnie Kenshin because I think it's a really great anime and, well, yeah, things have happened recently. What? Uh, we'll talk about that off camera. Uh, no, I don't know what you said. For Ronnie Kenshin. You know that anime? Not a fan. Not a fan of it? Not really, why? No, I said not offhand. I don't think I've heard of it, but then again, I'm not too sure what the hell you even said. Roroni Kenshin. Uh, doesn't ring a bell offhand. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Panic. Uh, that'll make it more interesting when we watch it. Uh, okay, is there anything else of value in here? No. Okay, let's leave. Stole something from safe. Got one XP. <laughs> What's my humanity at? Wow, my masquerade is at f near full and my humanity is at nine. So I'm a Golconda level vampire. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in Golconda. Hmm. <laughs> You can go ahead and something. That's the one thing. Again, I talked about that in the vampire group. I'm in on Facebook. And I pointed out, no, you can start in Golconda, and the one player is like, I don't, I don't know, you can't. It's a deep personal journey. Like, in the in New World of Darkness, it's a deep personal journey. In Old World of Darkness, it's just, <laughs> bitch, you're in Golconda. There, at least five percent of the vampires in Europe are in Golconda. That's not a small margin of vampires. And if you try and say, oh, they try and hide it, several of them are princes. And da, 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 da. Sephiroth. Okay, so we took care of it, so we need to go back to our room at downtown. And we get a reward. Making our way downtown. Walking Moving in fast. Down. Go it slow. <laughs> Sorry. Hop in. Crying all the time. Crying on the inside. <laughs> Cries in Spanish. But yeah, just oh, I'm excited for all that stuff because it's gonna be fun. And when we finish this doing XCOM, me, you, and Bill will be. Well, you gotta admit that's gonna be draw? interesting, don't you agree? XCOM where we get to name each of our operatives after our characters and other people's characters from the group. Mm, not too keen on XCOM, honestly. I mean, fair enough, but it's a... It's it gets, a, like, after the, like... It's a bit grindy, but I think... See, the thing is, I want us to have a kind of grindy game that takes a while, so we can be like, we do XCOM for a bit, then we, well, we're doing other series, you know? XCOM's kind I of I mean, nice. that's kind of what, um... The one thing has become Darkest Dungeon. Well, yeah, but. We still need to finish that, and that's just been nothing but a grind. Fair enough. Okay, uh. That's my two cents and all of that. Okay, wait a second. Uh. Also, we. Uh. Okay, wait. Okay, Quest Log Santa Monica. Okay, uh, we need to leave this place. Okay, so he gave us a reward. Okay, uh, speaking of which, uh, we're doing right now the Gary quest line, which is Gary gives you a bunch of XP basically and money and stuff for giving him random items he wants, like a name tag um, and other stuff, and he gives you posters. 
Uh, does he give us any money? No, he doesn't. Uh, he, yeah, he just gives us these posters if you look at the stream. So some of these are actual things from the base game and, of course, whatever. Um, there's the creepy Jeanette one, which is actually just super creepy to look at. Uh, there's the Velvet one. There's the Asian vampire lady one. There's the Rebel without a cause one. And... Well, yeah. These two are both... There's Amelia, and then there's 20. Uh, these were added in because the, half, the assets were half there for the game, and when they did the whole, you know, uh, pre-thing, they decided to include them and re-add them semi-bit. But of course, they didn't have art assets, so they had to make do. Been busy, boss, because I heard another famous movie prop has gone missing. And throwing star of the world under a touch of it, then we'll solve it for a poster of a sweet girl. Okay, well, that's... Well, Gary's being weird. Okay, what does he want? Uh, uh, okay. So that's the only annoying thing is you constantly gotta leave and re-enter the place to get the item to disappear from your locker so you can then go pick up, and, or rather not so much pick up, but see what your reward is. And you of course have to get the old email. I don't think we're getting any XP for this, but it's uh, interesting. Okay, and then the last one is the Fleshcraft, and I think we're done. Where is the last poster? There's our there's our ghoul. Let's get that email. <sighs> Replica stakes. Okay, Gary's just making jokes now. Let's go look at that poster. Bet it's in the bathroom. Yes, it is. Don't drive blindly. Don't drive blindly. Buckle up for your safety. She doesn't have any eyes. That's just weird. Okay. And I'm betting that's because she was flesh crafted. Also, this guy's got porn stash. A transcript of a final radio hmm. exchange between the pilots and the But yeah, Darkest Dungeon has kind of become that, but we still have um, a bunch of content we haven't explored with Darkest Dungeon. Like, again, um, there's the ghoul enemy that get added in the second tier. A bunch of new enemies get added in each tier. The old enemies get stronger, and there's new enemies added, like the ghouls and the gargoyles and the giants. Uh... There's also the uh, the bosses just kind of get harder and more bullshit. But yeah, that's that's I think my one problem with the game is that it's not so much that it gets more interesting in how it gets difficult. It just kind of gets more uh, you kind of hate the slight RNG of things. Uh, and also that guy's talking about the apocalypse and no emails from Gary. Okay. Well, let's see what that poster is. There's the don't. Well, that's PG-16. Well, that's a thing. The whole thing is practically an M-rated game. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying that that's specifically is a PG-16 at least image. The only reason it's probably not higher is because it's so blurred. Ah. Uh. Hopefully I can get Shadow of War to work a lot better later on, because I want to actually do that with you, because it will be a lot of fun if I can get it to work. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.